for a night and risk getting busted by the federales bullshit they'd have smoked all the shit themselves well we got some shine off the boat we picked up uh, you're welcome to some before you head out yeah okay thanks appreciate it I think that was a rep. <sighs> she says it's too hot in there. That she needs. I don't give a good goddamn what your mother says. Who the fuck pays for that house? For the food on the table? Yeah! Uh, oh, shit! What was that noise? What the hell was that? You know that barrel's filled with fuel, right? Yeah, so? So, maybe you shouldn't be smoking right next to it? Don't be such a pussy. This here's American steel. Ain't got nothing to worry about. Yeah. 
Motov on the way! It's all him. Let's go. Taking cover. Cover me while I reload. Let Molotov go now. We've got ourselves a guest. Gotta hunker down! Cutting us down! Leroy Jones was arrested in Newark, New Jersey after an argument with a police officer in a local bank. He was taken into custody and charged with using offensive language and resisting arrest. cargo out to Cuba. Good. You somehow managed to piss off both the communists and the gangsters. Word is Pops Holland is seriously fucked thanks to you. 
Best way to make a crook squirm is to hurt his money. Huh. Yeah. I heard Frank Pagani told Pops to get his ass back to the freight yard. Pops isn't going anywhere until you're dealt with. I understand he's a hard motherfucker. He's a survivor. Thanks for looking out, Pablo. When I dealt with a lot worse than Pops. Go get that commie loving piece of shit, Holland. I should ask out Alice who works in the office. Yeah. Somebody better be fucking with me. Something over there. Huh? Go Hope I'm not out of line here, Pops. But we shouldn't be working with those cops. Ah, uh, their money's the same color as everybody else's. Uh, <laughs> Oh! <laughs> 
Get the fuck off me, you big son of a bitch! Of course. Can you spare some of your crew to hold Tick for? Of course, my friend. They'll be there before you know it. After I was discharged, I wandered around for a couple, three months, did some odd jobs. I got arrested once or twice for fighting. But I always kind of knew I was going into seminary. It just took a little while for it to sink in, I suppose. Once I was done with seminary, Bishop Jenkins sent me to St. Michelle's home for colored boys. That orphanage was a pile of shit from the day I got there till the day I left. <laughs> but I loved it. <laughs> I loved having those boys. In tick for. Send someone for this extra cash. Hold your horses. I'll get to you. Your money's all safer with me, sir. Need new wheels in tick for. Oh, not a lot. Just getting her warmed up. Hey, brother. Got a car here for you. That's a big help.
I just picked up this call between Mr. Frank Pagani and Tommy Marcano. The first voice you're gonna hear is Frank's. The fuck you mean is gone? He came in and killed everybody. Christ, what a goddamn mess. I ain't never seen Sal so pissed. You gotta get your ass back here like right fucking now. Sal's pissed? What about me, huh? Down here busting my ass, and now I have to deal with this shit? I told you I take care of you and I stand by that. When you're back in town and things calm down, I'll make it right. Yeah, well, you fucking better. Boat's taking off here in a few minutes. I gotta finish up with some things. Then I'll fly back when I can. I checked with Vessel Traffic Services, and they're expecting the Tanager to arrive any time now. Frank's a slippery bastard, so I have no idea where he'll end up once he's back in the city. His car is on the Tanager, though. And from what I hear, he loves that goddamn thing. So if I can get onto the boat and plant this, I'll be able to track wherever he goes. It's the same model we use against the Soviets. It has a mercury-based trigger. Once you see the signal, just follow it. After I put this onto his car, we'll take apart the rest of his district. No sense in leaving any loose ends. I'm sure Frank will appreciate your thoroughness. <laughs>